Speaking it into existence, Governor Waltz for vice president. These are these are weird people on the other side. They <laughs> want to take books away. They want to be in your exam room. I've got a 23 year old who told me TikTok is on fire. Go ahead and continue to denigrate people. Go ahead. My God, they went after cat people. Good luck with that. Turn on the Internet and see what cat people do when you go after them. They don't fuck with cats. It'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. They see the least fortunate among us as scapegoats and punchlines for them. Kamala Harris and the Democrats see them as our neighbors. You know, get sugarcoating this. These are weird ideas. Listen to them speak. Listen how they talk about things. Told them that they shouldn't talk about race. They can't help it. It is built into their DNA because there yeah. is no plan. There's no health care plan. There's no health care plan. There's nothing to do on this. They want to take away our alliances and leave Russia to do whatever they want. Uh, the minute they all step on the stage, the American people have lost. Are they going to debate who can ban the most books? The same old failed policies. Instead of putting out a memo like that, tell us what your health care plan is. Donald Trump told us he would do that on day one back in 2017. There's nothing there. But you've legalized recreational marijuana. You passed universal background checks on guns. You expanded LG. LGBTQ protections, you implemented tuition-free college for low-income Minnesotans, there's uh, free uh, breakfast and lunch uh, for school kids. What a monster. Kids are eating eating and having full bellies so they can go learn, and women are making their own health care decisions, and uh, we're a top five business state, and uh, we also rank in the top three of happiness. To think that any way this is normal. You got a former president that thinks calling names and spreading lies is, is the way to get people there. They're continuing to shrink the, the electorate on their side. Their ceiling and their floor are the same, and I don't think it's going anywhere. So I'm just excited. What I know is, is that people like J.D. Vance know nothing about small town America. My town had 400 people in it. 24 kids in my graduating class, 12 were cousins, and he gets it all wrong. It's a not about hate, it's not about collapsing in. The golden rule there is mind your own damn business. Donald Trump talked about infrastructure. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris built bridges, built roads. So look, they are bad on foreign policy, they are bad on the environment, they certainly have no health care plan, and they keep talking about the middle class that, as I said, a robber baron real estate guy and a venture capitalist trying to tell us they understand yeah. who we are, they don't know who we are. That that angst that J.D. Vance talks about in Hillbilly Elegy, none of my Hillbilly cousins went to Yale, and none of them went on to be uh, venture capitalists or whatever. The situation in Gaza is, is intolerable, um, and I think trying to find a solution, a lasting two-state solution, certainly the president's move towards humanitarian aid and asking us to get to a ceasefire, that's what they're asking to be heard, and that's what they should be doing.